trees. Nature's most impressive organisms. Most of these giants live well past 100 years. However, many trees' lives are prematurely ended. Every minute, 26 acres of trees are chopped down. That's 37,440 acres each day. We're destroying the homes of millions of animals to make room for ours. We're removing an important source of oxygen to profit off of the infrastructure it creates. Deforestation is not something new. People have been cutting down trees for thousands of years. But in the past 150 years, industrial deforestation has increased exponentially. In the past 60 years, about half of the world's tropical rainforests have been harvested. According to the Rainforest Foundation, these forests are home to 80% of all insects, as well as countless other animals. Deforestation plays a detrimental role in global climate change. According to the World Car Free Network, Cars and trucks account for 14% of global carbon emissions, while deforestation accounts for 15%, just as a point of comparison. Of all of the sources of carbon emissions associated with logging, paper mills have the greatest effect. Paper mills are one of the largest sources of pollution in the United States. They pollute the air, contaminate the water, and ultimately cause the death of thousands of animals. Paper waste alone accounts for 40% of total waste in the United States. Until recently, much of the wood available to us had been illegally logged. And we do know that this is the beginning of this process. Certified wood in the stores, whether it's, it's FSC or Pan-European or SFI or, or any other third-party verification and certification, is extremely limited. But not all hope should be lost. In 1900, Congress passed the Lacey Act. The purpose of this act was to prohibit wildlife, fish, and plants that have been illegally harvested, transported, or sold in any way. In 2008, the law was amended to include products made from illegally logged woods. This was a huge step in the right direction. Seen as the United States is a role model to many other countries, this could have influence on other countries to make the same decision about illegally harvested wood. A quote from the Environmental Investigation Agency states that U.S. wood consumption of high-risk timber and wood products, not including pulp and paper, was as high as 10% of annual wood imports, 3.8 billion in 2006. Failure. This means that 10% of wood that came to America in 2006 was illegally harvested and would now be considered illegal under the Lacey Act Amendment. What are your views on the amount of deforestation occurring now around the world? Uh, well, I think it's too much. I think what we'd have to do is you got to look at the consumption rates. Um, I think that as a uh, human population, if we consume less wood, uh, if we consume less products, buy less product, products, then um, we'd be able to preserve our forests a little bit more and um, save those eco ecosystems. In addition to trying to preserve our forests, is there another environmentally friendly alternative to logging? Um, sure. I mean, looking at different products, um, uh, instead of using wood, uh, we can use a lot more recycled products. Um, an example, they have decking now that is made from uh, old uh, plastic water bottles and old plastic bottles like that that they just press together and can use that uh, in lieu of wood. Um, so then that would obviously decrease the demand uh, required to, to log. Do you think an act such as the Lacey Act could be beneficial to preserving the environment. 
Um, yeah, I think that we have to, uh, you know, regulation. I, I do believe in a bit of regulation, and um, it's easier for us in a developed country to say that's illegally harvest wood, don't buy it, can't buy it, can't sell it, can't trade it. However, when you're looking in developing countries, it's going to be a lot harder to say, you know, that wood you can't cut and heat your home with. Um, so it is definitely um, something that we in developed nations have to try and enforce, not only in our world, but try in our nation, but um, try and somehow modify that to, to help developing nations. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Those opposing the Lacey Act are more often than not unconcerned with the environmental consequences that illegal logging has. Illegal logging accounts for 15 to 30 percent of global logging. They harvest any log they can in hopes of the highest profit possible, while consciously destroying the environment. Since the Lacey Act has been amended in 2008, illegal logging has decreased dramatically. It's the small steps like these that allow us to slowly but surely progress towards a better world filled with magnificent trees.